Hey guys, we're about to get ready to go outside again to start looking at the eclipse. Hopefully I can record some of it. It was really cloudy earlier this morning, so hopefully, my husband said it's not as cloudy, so hopefully we can see it. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, got a much needed nap. I still really don't feel that good. Um, I guess I'm just kind of frustrated. Like, you'll take a couple steps forward and then a couple steps back. Um, I've been short of breath, like, for probably the last two and a half, three months, maybe. <clears throat> My potassium's been really low. It's, like, up and down. Um... Excuse me. They don't know why it's been low. Um, it's gotten as low as 2.9. And the first set of potassium medicine um, that they put me on made me so sick to my stomach. And um, so I stopped it. Ended up in the ER. So the doctor ended up putting me on a dissolvable one that you just put in juice. Um, I can tolerate that a little bit better. But I can't take it every day because it makes me dizzy. So I just got to do better. I guess I'm taking it. I just hate taking all this extra stuff. And it just gets frustrating when they have no idea why you feel the way you do. Um, I went to the kidney doctor because my, my urine is always dark. Literally as dark as this tea. So I don't know if any of you other loopies have this problem. Even though I have that tea. Like, I won't finish it. Like, I don't drink enough fluids. And I've tried everything from, you know, it doesn't matter from a soda to water, flavored water. My body just can't tolerate it. Like, and my lupus doctor says that that's part of the lupus. And um, I have to go twice a week um, to do IV fluids. Um... On top of, I do my Ben Lista infusion every four weeks, which that'll be a separate video on my medications that I take. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of frustrating because like I started back having cramps in my legs. So I was like, okay, I guess I need to start taking it, um, my potassium again. And so the doctor called and said it was a little low um, on my last set of labs. I get labs every four weeks. So... <clears throat> I don't know, I'm just frustrated because when I saw the kidney doctor, he's like, well, I don't think you need to see me. I don't feel like it's your kidney. Sometimes the prednisone that you take can cause you to have low potassium to just eat other foods. And I'm like, okay, so why is my urine dark? And why do I have spasms in the back of my kidney like all the time? You know, and everyone is quick to just say, oh, well, just drink some more water and you'll be fine. And I'm like, well, it's not that easy, you know. I know I had gastroparesis, and I think a lot of it had something to do with that. But I guess thinking back, like, I've always been like this. Like, I don't register like the average person. Like, oh, gosh, I'm so thirsty. Like, my body has to go, like, I don't know, maybe a month for my body to, like, actually crave fluid. Um, but a single day, I may drink, if I'm lucky, eight ounces, if I'm lucky. 
So I know the fluid that I get twice a week helps so much and I can tell like I think that's why I really don't feel the best because I canceled um, my fluid for Thursday. I normally go Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I canceled it because I just didn't feel good that day um, from the lingering sinus infection or whatever. I just was just tired. I just couldn't do it. Um, but I think I'm paying for it. So I do go tomorrow, which hopefully I can vlog and let you guys see the process. Um, I'm there for like an hour to do the fluids. Um, they just access my metal port. And then I'm there just hanging out. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely vlog tomorrow. But yeah, um, we tried to do the eclipse, but that was a complete no-go here in Florida. Um... The sun was out bright when I first went out and, you know, by the time that, the, you know, it was supposed to happen, all the clouds were covered and then it started thundering and lightning. So I'm like, um, yeah, it was uh, a bit much. I'm trying to see something that's on TV. I don't know. Somebody got shot or something, but I never watch TV. Um, <clears throat> I guess overseas. Um, but yeah, I don't, uh, no, I was kind of frustrated because I really wanted to see the eclipse. I mean, granted, we did get to see it on the television, you know, the live, but I really wanted to see it for myself. I've seen a partial eclipse when I was, um, elementary school, but yeah, I was really looking forward, but that's Florida weather. You, it literally can rain on one side of the road and not the other because at the beach, it was, perfect view for everyone um downtown area they could see it it's just where we're at you could not see it so um yeah so after we realized by like 1 30 1 40 that it wasn't gonna happen i just went and laid down and took a nap um yeah sorry i had to pause that i was watching a thing about the barcelona attacks um you know, you briefly hear stuff because, like I said, I don't really watch TV that much. Um, I have, like, a news feed on my phone. Um, but this American lady was recording a black lady, and um, that has to be horrifying. And I, I, I told my husband, because, like, when it happened, I was like, it's a couple days before we went to Atlanta. I'm like, um, that's just scary because you just don't know, and they seem to target places that are, like, high in tourist areas. And um, it's just scary that that's what the world's coming to. And then they showed a clip of the Charlottesville. And it's just sad that people are so hateful. Um, you know, my son is half, half black, half white. But I have to, like, let him know. I know this is going off topic. That, you know, regardless that you have white and black in you, that there are a lot of people that only see you as black. Um... And it's kids that don't really understand, <clears throat> you know, because they, a lot of, you know, they don't see color, which is a good thing. But you have to be vigilant that, you know, things are happening to our young black men and, you know, there's just some hateful people in the world. I just feel like if you want to just be hateful, have a different part of the world that you can just go and just hang out and do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just ridiculous. Like. I understand they're tearing all this, you know, the statues down. And my thing is, yeah, that stuff needs to come down. But why does it have to come to this? But at the same time, that's not going to stop hate. Um, and a lot of cities that are pulling it down or, you know, politicians are saying they need to come down. It's because they're trying to get more of a vote, in my opinion. I'm not saying that they don't need to come down, but it's not going to stop the problem. The statue is not going to stop it. That's going to fuel it even more. Just saying. Um, yeah. So, I've already had dinner. I'll just go randomly go back. Um, I've already had dinner. I had um, leftovers. I made like a stir fry, Chinese stir fry last night. Um, with like chicken, broccoli, the little mini corn, water chestnuts. I love water chestnuts. Um, and I did it with mashed potatoes because I didn't have the rice, um, but I had rice today, so um, that, that's what we had. I'll probably get a bowl of black walnut ice cream a little bit later. I don't know. Don't judge me. 
I love some black walnut and I have to wait till a certain time of the year for it to come out because it's seasonal. So I've been cherishing every moment of it. Also, I'm going to be putting out a DIY um, video. I'll probably put that out tomorrow. Um, hopefully I can do DIYs maybe like once a week until my house is, you know, put together. Um, like I said, we brought our house in December, so there's so many boxes that are in the garage that are not unpacked because we literally have been running for eight months straight every weekend, every day. Um, my husband has a youth track and field. I'm back. Sorry, I had to upload a collaboration DIY video that I'm doing with Miss Cam Davis from Divas Design on a Dime. I've butchered that a couple times, so I apologize, Miss Kim. Um, but yeah, I had to get that to her before I forgot. And plus, my phone was like storage low. <sighs> the struggles of recording on your phone. Um, so I'm just laying in the bed. I'm just still tired. I just I'm frustrated, and I am reaching out to a few ladies. Um, in the lupus and autoimmune community to do a collaboration so as soon as I can get the details and the everything worked out um, I will let everyone know I'm super excited so we can bring more awareness to this crazy disease that affects every aspect of your life one minute you can be full of energy no, no pain then boom five minutes later you're extremely fatigued and extremely pain you can barely walk debilitating crying but enough of that so i'm, I'm going to try to upload this because it keeps turning off be blessed guys till tomorrow